Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on the Infinite Baffle channel. My name is Niall and today we're going to be continuing with a bit of a trend with some of the videos that we've been doing recently which is where we take a product that's really popular, reviewed really well and kind of take a look at what it is that makes it so special and the reason for that product's success. Now today we're taking a look at the Grado SR80X headphones, an open back headphone that comes in at around £100 and a lot of people would say for the price that you pay the headphone well outperforms that but uh, yeah before we get full stick into exactly why that is if you do enjoy the video make sure to leave a thumbs up on it make sure to subscribe if you are new and obviously if you've got any feedback or suggestions leave those in the comment section down below as well but over there any further ado let's get stuck into it So Grado as a manufacturer, or Grado, is it Grado or Grado? I'm going to go with Grado. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comment section down below. But um, they've been going since 1953. They effectively specialise in cartridges and headphones. Obviously, we're focusing on the headphones today and the SR80X model, which is the latest in line from the SR80 family, which launched back in 1991. Uh, we've had the SR80s, the 80Es, the X being the current model. And um, they're all actually hand assembled and manufactured in Brooklyn, in the States. And um, I think when you just look at them Grado as a whole their headphones are really cool to look at and I think that's the first reason why they're so popular they're pretty unique in their design as mentioned, these are retailing for around £100 based on Audio Affair, where we always take our prices from, currently £98. And for that, you get an open back, dynamic, on-ear headphone, super lightweight, super comfortable, that just delivers a sound that's well above what you'd expect when you're picking up what is effectively an entry-level headphone. Before we do touch upon the sound too much, though, I do want to talk a little bit more about the actual design of the headphones themselves. Now, you can see I've got a couple of pairs here. We've got the 80X, which is obviously what we're focusing on mainly on this video. But I also thought I'd show you a pair of the 320 25x just to show you just how uniform the Grado headphone range is in terms of design they're all very similar in the way that they're very lightweight they've got a nice padded band at the top which is actually something that they have improved on since the previous models and just the design of them itself is super unique as I've mentioned a couple of times I mean the foam pads aren't something that you see many other manufacturers do but the comfort of them is absolutely second to none so when it comes to headphones you guys will have heard me mention this when I've spoken about headphones previously on the channel there's a real fine balance that has to be struck on a headphone Phone where you don't want it to sound fantastic but be really uncomfortable so you're not wanting to put them on your head but at the same point there's no point in having it something that's super comfortable but sounds rubbish obviously you're not going to want to use them so um, Grado another brand that balances that really really well as I've already touched upon these are really lightweight the foam pads are really really comfortable the design of them is fantastic but it does have a little bit of a drawback as well I mean firstly I've got to say the cable is super high quality so in terms of durability of the cable itself not a complaint at all to be had there but it's this material that's got a bit of a memory built into it so when you bend the cable it kind of holds its place a little bit and I don't think it's the most comfortable cable in the world but comfort versus durability I guess some people would say that's worth the sacrifice uh, the pads that we're going to touch on a little bit more as well are something that are again very unique to Grado from my experience um, they're very very comfortable but do bear in mind if you're someone that's going to be listening to these headphones a lot they are more than likely going to need replacing at some point they're just not quite as durable as your traditional kind of leather and tradition and, and other um, other materials that other brands use for the cups so uh, Grado do provide um, they, they do sell replacement cups so you can get these pads fairly easily and they're relatively inexpensive as well but it's just something that's worth bearing in mind really if you're going to be using these a lot you're probably going to need to replace the foam pads at some point now Another thing that I want to mention with the pads is that you can actually get third party pads to put on here that supposedly a lot of people actually think improve the sound. Now, you can get these open pads that a lot of these other manufacturers do that kind of open up the staging a little bit. When we're discussing the headphones today, we're going to be talking about them um, as they come out of the box. So with the Grado pads, so do bear that in mind. I think with the Grado pads, they're fantastic, but third party pads are something that a lot of people do really rate highly with these as well so that's worth looking into as well so now the other really important thing when it comes to discussing headphones is the sound obviously we spoke about how these are really lightweight super comfortable super durable great build quality how do they actually sound now i've listened to the sr80x's on many separate occasions in many different uh, using many different headphone amplifiers and uh, and whatnot um, 
Just to refresh my memory, when I listened to these recently, I used the Name Unity headphone edition uh, and a headphone amplifier that, again, I've used many times on the channel when we listen to different varying headphones. Um, more than enough power. The grottos aren't particularly greedy, and I think maybe the name gave them a bit more of a well-rounded sound. They were kind of a bit more balanced than when I'd previously listened to them, but they still had what I would class as that really unique grotto sparkling signature sound. When it comes to that signature Grado sound, what I'm actually touching upon there is just the incredible level of detail and sparkle that you get from these. I mean, for £100, they perform well above that price point, in my opinion. They've got this really engaging mid-range as well, and some really crisp, clear highs on top of that. I mean, as an all-round sound, they are absolutely fantastic and certainly punch well above that £100 price point that they're currently available for. You can see just why they're as popular as they are. One thing that is worth bearing in mind with the open back dynamic driver design with these is um, the fact that there is going to be a lot of sound leak coming from them now. That's just the nature of the beast when it comes to open back headphones. There's always going to be, you know, you're, you've got them on your head, you're blasting your tunes, it's always going to be, you know, a lot of noise that's, that everyone else around you can hear. So if you're, um, if you're using these in like an office environment or something like that, that's certainly worth bearing in mind. Again, it's very much the, the nature of the beast when it comes to open back headphones. I do think that the fact that these have got foam pads does potentially make it a little bit worse than some other models that I've heard in the past, but again, I think it's a bit of a necessary evil, and if that's what needs to happen for them to create the sound that they do and the experience that they do, then for as far as I'm concerned, so be it really. I mean, when you look at other really popular headphones that are in a similar kind of price, but you've got things like the Sennheiser HD 560 SEs, you've got the Hi Fireman HE 400 SEs, both really popular, fantastic headphones, in their own right but the grado most definitely does give you something different compared to these models i mean you get a lot more detail from these compared to the other models i've just mentioned i think they've got a lot more of an energetic engaging same thing compared to those models as well they are just really unique both in their design and their presentation in terms of sound and aesthetics they're a great little headphone i think if you're someone that wants a bit more of a neutral balanced sound that's maybe where something like the sennheiser 560 s could, could come into their own potentially but if you're looking for detail, warmth, and clarity, these Grados for £100 are absolutely second to none. Some people think that the bass is a little bit lacking. I think it's absolutely fine. Again, I think when you're bearing in mind the price of these headphones, I think the bass that they produce is more than good enough. The sub bass is found to be a little bit lacking, but again, for a £100 headphone, as an all-round package, they are absolutely sublime. I think for the SR80Xs, if you're looking at it for a bit of a summary of the pros and cons to something like this, I mean, pros are super lightweight, super comfortable, great for long listening experiences, fantastic sound, great detail, great clarity. The negatives really to me, I think, the fact that the pads have to be replaced over a long period of time, you can't really look past that. And I do think that the cable is a little bit irritating because of that, again, the memory nature of it. Um, I think you've also got to mention that if you're someone that's using these on the go, they're not the most portable thing in the world in terms of the fact that they don't come with a bag, they don't fold down or anything like that, so do bear that in mind. But as a listening experience, again, for the £100 price point on the SR80Xs, they are absolutely fantastic. Again, comfortable, detailed, great listening experience overall. I mean, if you're someone that has had the chance to listen to the SR80Xs, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I know, given how popular that these are, there's going to be a lot of people watching this that have listened to these in the past, so do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Again, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it, and that's just about going to wrap it all up, guys. We'll catch you all in next week's upload. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Speak to you all then.